Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to illustrate and paint citrus in different colors. We are going to use watercolor, watercolor pencils, and ink pen. So, uh, I started by wetting each of these circles, each of uh, my subjects, with a uh, wet brush and then based on the colors that you have on your reference pictures, you will add your warm colors. Here I'm using more orange and cadmium red. So cadmium orange, cadmium red uh, are good colors. And then I also, right now I'm adding permanent rose to the mixture. You also can use um, opera if you have opera instead. So any pink works, any bright pink works to be mixed. And for the darker color citrus, you probably need to add some uh, alizarin crimson uh, also. That's what I'm adding. Um, so while I'm adding these colors, I also try to draw with the tip of my brush and create some sense of pulps and texture on my citrus. Um, so while you're watching the video, I'm, I'm just following the same um, rule for all different color citrus. Just for the uh, for green ones, I'm using lime green. Sap green is a good color. Uh, cadmium lemon is a good color as your cool yellow to be mixed with your green for green uh, citrus. Also, think about um, adding probably two layers of uh, watercolor um, to create that sense of texture to your work uh, would be a great idea. So I might need to wait for my first layer to dry and then go over it with the second layer. For my lemon, since it's yellow, I use warm and cool lemon, cadmium lemon and cadmium yellow. And then for the shady parts, um, on the yellow one, on the right bottom corner, I also added a touch of Windsor Violet. You can use any type of purple, but it should be very small, very small amount of purple. Either mix it with your yellow and put it down on your painting or while the yellow paint is wet on the surface just dab a touch of purple on top to create that dark valley. Here I'm also adding some touches of orange to my yellow to make texture for my lemon.
Okay, it's time to add shadows. As you can see, I'm putting my warm colors down on the bottom of my slices first. And then I will add Payne's Gray and some Ultramarine Blue. This way I can give more three-dimensional look to my slices. Wherever the slices are touching the surface, the shadow is darker and I will apply more Payne's Gray. Time to use watercolor pencils. Remember the color wheel and the complementary color rule. So for any red object, you can add some green and also blue for darkening your red. This is why I am using the mixture of these colors. And I know that after applying a wet brush, these colors are going to blend more with each other. I'm also going over my shadows with my color pencil. And then applying my wet brush here and there to bring it to life. Okay back to my ink pen I'm creating more drawings adding more drawings and creating more textures on my citrus using my finest ink pen which is size 005 again these ink pens are all water resist so that I can go back if I need to with my watercolor on top of them and, and add colors like what I did in the beginning. It's not in the video but I started by drawing with ink pen first. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. <laughs> 